Thanks, Tatum. I spoke with Mayor Turner earlier today, and he says that he's ready to reopen Texas slowly. But he believes that the current plan will make it more difficult for business owners to operate under Governor Abbott's current executive order. I really don't see this one working very well because how you can't buy clothes by driving up and then bringing out a pair of pants. You need to try the pants on. So this one I don't think is going to do a, a lot. Turner believes that the seven cities in West Texas should control the opening of West Texas once the executive order expires. And we've sent a letter to the governor signed by all seven of us saying that we want to be able to control the opening of our own cities because we're not like Dallas, we're not like Austin, we're not like Houston, and we know our communities better than they do. However, Alejandro Barrientos, co-owner of Curbside Bistro, believes that this plan is a step in the right direction for everyone who is unemployed because there will be more job openings. And I think opening restaurants and opening retail centers is going to be a good outlet for some of those people that can't even get to the unemployment line or through the unemployment phone to go out there and start looking for jobs and start seeking employment. But Turner also understands the importance of bringing jobs back as well. These people need this money to live. And... Um, you know, it's survival for many people. You know, you had a lot of people laid off with the oil industry. There's going to be jobs created when we open back up. Now, Mayor Turner wants to see how all of this is going to play out. Odessa plans to monitor these retail to go businesses, whether that be through police presence, fire inspectors, or even creating some sort of a tip line for citizens to report unsafe business practices. In the meantime, the seven cities in West Texas wait on a response from Governor Abbott's office about whether or not they will be in control of reopening West Texas. In Odessa, Jonathan Palasik, News West 9.